In this tutorial, we will learn next set of sketch commands. Click on ISO part, right click on synchronous and click on transition to order. Sketch, select the horizontal plane. We have seen the line command, click on the arrow near the line. Next is curve. It will create a smooth curve. Click the points through which you want your curve to pass. And right click, press escape to come out. The smooth curve is created. Click on it. We can modify it by dragging the control points or by fit points. You can control the shape using by dragging these points. And if you want to connect the curve, then you can click on this close curve. So it will connect and create a close curve. And using these add remove points, you can add the point or remove the point. Click on it. If you want to add the point, click at click on anywhere on the curve where you want to add the point. And if you want to remove the point, click on the point to remove. So it will remove the point. That means if you click on existing point, it will be removed. And if you click at empty space, the new point will be added. If we click on this curve options, you can control the degree. How much degree you want. If you increase the degree, okay, control points will increase. And you can control the shape in more fine way using these control points. Then next is, we'll just remove it. Next is point. You can give the po coordinates for the point. Suppose x is 10, enter y is 10. Okay. So it has created a point at coordinate of 10, 10. Or you can also give the dimension. Click on the point. Point is on. Click where you want the point. And you can place the location of the point using dimension also. Smart dimension. Click on y. Select the point and give the location. How much you want. Same way, click on X, give the click on the point and give the vertical location. Both way you can give the parameters. And next is a free sketch. Click on it, press the first button of the mouse and drag the mouse. So as you drag and release the mouse, so it will create the shape using curves and line depending on the shape you create. So whatever shape you create, as per that it will make the combination of curves and lines. So in this way you can use sketch, free sketch. Then next is rectangle. A rectangle by center, give the center point. Then drag the point outside and click. And using smart dimension you can place the dimension. Then a rectangle by two point, give the first point and second point. Then next is rectangle by three point. Using this you can create an inclined rectangle. Give the first point, second point and third point. And using smart dimension you can place the angle. Click on this angle and place the angle how much you want. And using smart dimension, you can also give the length, other parameters, whatever parameters you want, that you can specify. So as for that, the rectangle will be created. Suppose I will keep this one rectangle. Then here is the tangent arc is there. Click on tangent arc. Take your cursor to the line to which you want to create a tangent arc. Click there. Then take your cursor and give the second point. As per that it will create a tangent arc. Take your cursor on the vertical line. So you can create a tangent arc to vertical line. Then there is an arc by three point. Escape. Undo. Then arc by three point. 
give the first point give the second point that means at first you will have to give the two end points then give the third third point or you can directly specify your radius also how much you want suppose i want 30 radius enter so it will create arc as per that give the side on which side you want it so it will create arc of that radius then there is a arc by center point give the center point give the start point and end point in this way you can create using arc by center in rectangle one more command is polygon by center so click on that polygon by center give the number of sides here how many you want give the center point and give the second point zoom fit then you can specify the desired parameter what you want by using smart dimension smart dimension i want to give it corner to corner so this circle is passing through the corners so you can directly give diameter of this circle so that will be the distance between two opposite corners and if you want to give distance between two faces then again smart dimension click on the first face and second face so in this way you can give dimension between two faces now it got a rotated then apply horizontal and vertical relation click on this line so it will become horizontal and one more will be edge length if you want to give edge length click on smart dimension click on the line and specify the edge length again click on this horizontal vertical click on the line it will become horizontal so in this way you can create the polygon by any method that means by midpoint method or corner method and you can convert it into any other method by giving the smart dimensions then circle we have not seen this tangent circle at first we will create some reference circles here this is the first and one more circle here then i want to create one circle tangent to these both circles of desired diameter click on this arrow click on tangent circle select first circle select second circle then using smart dimension give the dimension diameter to this circle so it will automatically be tangent and you can remove the unwanted object using trim so as per that you can create a tangent arc also or tangent circle and if you create circle from outside and click on this tangent circle give this first point give this second point so then change the diameter of this circle 550 so it will create it from outside in this way we have created all the draw commands we will stop here thanks for watching